So we are going to do a Japanese influenced piece of artwork. We are going to be using watercolors and traditional calligraphy style lines. We are also going to use some mixed media. Here I have used some pebbles and squashed up crepe paper and some sequins, a uh, bit of fabric and um, using a quite a flat ended thick brush I have here used um, some of the calligraphy lines that I want to use for the branches. It is important to have a variety of uh, shades of color um, especially this being a mixed media piece of artwork and what I'm going to do with this now is include more depth add more elements art elements to it so we are going to try doing some shading layering using the transparency of watercolors to bring this into life a bit more so to layer it, I've used some of the lighter colors. To do that, you would need to have more water and less watercolor pigment on your brush. We can always do the layering one, um, layering once the water is dried. Now I have purposely not done the background because I want to see where the flowers are going to go first. So this is the rounded shapes of the cherry blossoms that I want to use. Might add a little bit more. So the page is somewhat balanced. I want to have a slightly balanced composition. The branches flowing through this way and the flowers being heavy towards the ground. Now I'm going to use some layering. I do want to maintain some of the beautiful light pinks that I have got here. I want to smooth some of these dark reds in while it is still wet because then I can push the pigment onto the page a little bit more.
and I'm just about getting enough for now. So what I'm going to do now is use a blue for the background. I'm going to keep trying to keep it away from the pink shade so the colors don't mix in. There we go, nearly there. because I want to record this quite quickly and because the sun of the areas are not dry I'm just going to use a piece of paper take the excess water out so we can start the next part beautiful I'm going to use a slightly smaller brush now To add some detail. You can see that I'm using sort of orangey red now. To add a few more layers to the cherry blossoms. Okay, now I'm going to use that brush again and I'm going to use it is important 
to use your hand. To see which way you want the blossoms, the branches to flow. You might have more control when you're doing this if you were to stand up. So there you are. This is our complete work for Japanese-influenced cherry blossoms.